Hello everybody and welcome to my 8th Intermediate Excel tutorial and this Excel tutorial is going to teach you how to use nested if statements. So um, first of all we're going to put in an option up here so you're either going to choose uh, left or right um, so to do this go to data validation list left comma right Okay, and then this will just give us a little drop down to choose from. Um, then let's put in an option here. So let's put in 5 and 10. Um, right, and then let's write our formula down here. So let's go equals if. And so a nested if statement is going to be. Um, an if statement that you put in one of these three parameters. So if we put uh, our first test here, so if um, b1 equals left comma and then we'll put another if statement in, so if Uh, this cell is greater than 5 comma left is greater than 5 otherwise left is lower than 5 remember if you put in text in to put the quotation marks and let's close that if statement off and what you'll notice is that this flicks between so at the moment we're in this if statement here and it's showing we're in the false bit as soon as it closes it off it goes oh, you're back in this if statement so we're in the true bit so we put another comma in so this is value of false so this is if this equals right so let's put if c2 is greater than 5 comma right is greater than five put another comma and then right is lower than oh I'm um, forgot the apostrophes right is lower than five close that off and um you notice I've come up with an error. This is because I've closed off this if statement, but I haven't closed off the bigger if statement. So if I put another parameter in, then that'll work. So left is lower than five. Uh, if we change this to six, left is greater than five. Change it to four, lower. If we put this to right, then it's going to go right is greater than five, um, which it is. If we change this to two, then right is lower than five. So that's how you use an if statement uh, with another if statement nested inside it. Uh, you can also um, you can use it uh, slightly differently to this. So you can go if and then if um, and then go this cell equals left then use this value otherwise use this value close that off and then we're still in the logical test here so we put this is greater than 5 comma and then value is greater than 5 comma value is oh and we missed the apostrophe again value is less and again <laughs> value is less than five and close that off and so what this is going to do is at the moment it's just going to stay the same no matter what uh, but if we put this to seven and we switch it to left 
then it's going to go value is greater than 5. So a slight variation and you'll find you can nest quite a few if statements, I think it's a maximum of 7 you can nest in, within each other. Uh, and then Excel gives up and you, you need to use VBA. Um, but this just shows how you can use the nested statements. Um, it also shows how you can compare um, whether or not a value is equal to left. So if you want to compare something to a string, then put in the apostrophes on either side and just say, is it equal to this string? Um, finally, let's just check how much time I've got. Um, so, plenty of time. So, uh, the last thing I want to show, I was going to show it in the last tutorial, but I missed it out by accident, uh, is uh, the OR statement. So, if we go back here, it's very similar to the AND, so you just open up an OR, put in one logical, so that greater than 5, comma, that greater than 5, close bracket, Comma, so value if either that or that equals true, one or the other is higher than five. And then another useful trick, if you put two apostrophes in your if statement, then you'll notice if I change this one to be lower than five, then the cell just comes through with nothing. So what this is doing is it's going so if, oh I've got an or, so it tests if this is true and then it tests if this is true and if either one of them is true then it returns true for this and runs this one if none of them are true then it goes to this one um, you can see when you click on here that you've got, you can put in as many ors as you, as you like um, although if you put in quite a few it's going to get a bit hectic Anyway, that's it for this tutorial, uh, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Uh, thanks for listening.